Hey everybody, it's Stephanie and today I'm here with a new thrift haul! <laughs> And I was able to make it out to the Goodwill Saturday sale and to the Goodwill Clearance Center and I found quite a few things and they're all pretty interesting so I have a lot so let's just jump right into the video. So for those of you guys that don't know, Goodwill holds a sale every other Saturday and it's 50% off all used merchandise and so I went to that and I went pretty late in the day and I actually found a lot of really good stuff. So the first thing I picked up was this creamy white, um, it's supposed to be like a mock turtleneck, short sleeve top, but for me, since I do have a short neck, it goes pretty high up. And I thought initially that this was going to be super lightweight and airy and breathable, and then I wore it out one day and I was completely wrong. I'm not sure what the fabric is because somebody did cut the tag out of it, but it's really, really warm. I get excessively hot in it, so it would definitely be better for a transition piece for the fall winter, but this was only $2.50, so I decided to go ahead and pick it up. So unfortunately, Melissa had to work during the Saturday sale, so I went on my own, and I think I've mentioned this in videos before, but I don't like going by myself because I have a really hard time narrowing down my selections. So fortunately, with technology, I can just snap a picture of an item to Melissa and send it to her, and she said I should pick this up, so I did. And it doesn't really do any justice just me holding it here, you'd have to see it on, but it's just this denim crop top with a side tie and it just ties on the side. It is a medium, so it's a bit big in the shoulders, but because of the side tie, you can bring it in at the waist so it doesn't look like it's too big. And this was only, ugh, hair in my mouth, $2.50, and I thought this would look great paired with a denim on denim look, maybe something white on the bottom, like a white denim skirt. Yeah, so I had to get it. So the next thing I picked up isn't usually something I would purchase, but I thought, hey, I'm going to step out of my comfort zone, try something new, and if it doesn't work out, it was only $2.50. And it is this purple with like white splatter paint, I don't know, it kind of also reminds me of the Galaxy, and it's really lightweight, like I said, it was only $2.50. This is gonna be perfect for summer, and after I tried it on with a pair of denim shorts, I loved it even more, so I do think I'll get somewhere out of it. Maybe not every single day, but it'll be great for just throwing on with a pair of shorts to run errands during the summer. So I'm gonna keep this item fairly short because I seem to always purchase a denim jacket at Goodwill during the Saturday sale because I always say, well, you know what? I don't have a denim jacket in that wash or that color. So I did pick up this Wrangler denim jacket. It's a bit more oversized than some of my more fitted denim jackets, so that was another reason why I decided to pick this up, and it was only $4. So the next thing I picked up was an impulse buy. It was just laying by the register. I decided to just pick it up. It was only $2. I will warn you guys, it is a bit busted, so it definitely needs to be cleaned, but I can do that. You can clean things. And so it's just this Liz Claiborne, I think. I think that's the brand. Uh, faux leather bucket bag. It's perfect. It's awesome. It has the zipper detail right here. And they actually work, they're actually pockets. It's really dirty inside, so I definitely need to clean it. And it has the adjustable strap, so I can wear it as a shoulder bag or crossbody. And you guys know me, I always, always, always wear bucket bags, and I don't carry huge totes. I always carry really small side bags, so this is perfect to add to my black bucket bag collection. And for $2, where are you going to find a bag for $2? So you guys know I live in Arizona and during the summer I spend most of my time by the pool or at the water park and I am not comfortable just walking around in my bathing suit so when I'm not in the water I always like to have some sort of cover up on and usually I opt for dresses but sometimes dresses can just be so heavy so I was looking for a swimsuit cover up and I found this oversized button down hoodie, but it actually is swimwear, which is kind of crazy. And it just has, I don't know if you guys can see, kind of like this holy material 
which is perfect and it looks like it's fairly new sometimes you buy white tops or you see white tops at the thrift store and they're really dingy they're almost gray but this one looks like it's in pretty good condition so this i believe was three dollars on sale which isn't bad i know i'm gonna get a lot of use out of it during the summer so the last thing i picked up was this button down top it has roses and some sort of like geometric print or form i'm not really sure hopefully you guys can see that and i envisioned melissa wearing this but i was afraid it was going to be a bit too big it is a size medium and it looks pretty wide but it fit amazing she was able to pull it off if you follow us on instagram or twitter she's posted a photo of herself in this and she can basically pull anything off so i knew she would find something to do with it and this was only 250 because it's short sleeve imagine that it's awesome so now I'm going to share with you guys the stuff I purchased at the Clearance Center. I know we've mentioned the Clearance Center in the past, but for those of you guys that don't know, it's where Goodwill sends all of its stuff that doesn't sell in its store. Like it gets rotated off the floor and they send it to the Clearance Center and then the public can go and purchase it by the pound. And I'm going to say if you do decide to check out the Clearance Center, go in with a very open mind and very low expectations because I was reading on Yelp a lot of people believe it's like a Goodwill store where all of the clothes are going to be hung up and sorted by you know men's women's children uh, home goods and it's not it's basically these big blue containers and they throw all of the clothes in them and you have to dig for them so if you don't have enough time to dig through stuff, I wouldn't suggest uh, you going out there, but if you do have an open mind and you are up for an adventure, you can find a lot of really great stuff. I purchased everything that I'm gonna share with you guys for under $6, and sometimes you buy a shirt at Goodwill for $6. So, enough of that, let's get into the rest of the stuff. The first thing that I picked up was for Melissa. You guys know she's on a denim kick as of late and so am I. More so her but I found this and I'm not sure the size so it was a great find. Melissa doesn't have a denim skirt in this wash so it fits her really well. It looks awesome and I just knew she would love it. So since the Goodwill Clearance Center is so inexpensive I sometimes buy things there that I wouldn't buy at Goodwill or at a retail store. Take like for instance, this belt. <laughs> Melissa really liked it. I was like, okay, cool, let's get it. And I mean, I wouldn't normally buy something like this, but it kind of has a sort of like grunge punk feel and you can adjust it. It will fit any waist size because all of these can be worn as a different notch I guess so I'm not really sure what we're gonna do with it just yet but I still thought it was pretty cool now the next thing is a book and they're hardback books are 50 cents and I want to say their paperback books are 25 cents so Melissa found this and it is the Metropolitan Museum of Art it's filled with pictures of paintings, sculptures, architecture. It'll be a really great coffee table book and this retailed for $50 and we got it for 50 cents. The cover, I'm not sure what this is technically called, is a little busted but other than that everything else is in great shape and I just thought this was a great find. So the last thing that I picked up was a blanket. Melissa and I are notorious for being cold all the time in the winter in the summer doesn't matter we're always cold so we have blankets all the time out in the living room and I thought this would match really well with our living room decor so it's just this crocheted blanket and it has pops of color throughout so it'll really tie in with the orange and the grays that we have in our living room right now and just our our couch is a kind of beigey color so I thought this would look really well just thrown over even just like as an accent blanket I definitely need to wash it first I'm not sure how exactly I want to wash it just looking at it now I'm like mm, probably shouldn't be touching it but you know all of this that I got was 
under six dollars so this had to have been like a dollar or something steal so that concludes my thrift haul if you guys did like it don't forget to give it a big thumbs up it is now summer well not not technically summer, but I have more time on my hands to go to the thrift store to film new videos. And I'm always open for suggestions. So if there is something you would like to see, go ahead and leave it as a comment down below. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you guys soon. Bye.